come to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out my blood vessels and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How long does it take our blood to circulate through our body? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need two glass jars, some water, some food coloring, and some string. Okay, you are going to start by getting yourself two, I mean, uh, two glass jars. One, two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, make sure that one of your glasses is full of water. You know, because you don't want it to be full of sh**. Okay, get yourself some red food coloring. Uh, why red? Because blood is red when it hits oxygen. I don't care. Pick your own color. Whatever. Because we're going to drop... <laughs> we're going to drop our food coloring on the table, and then we're going to pick it back up, and we're going to put a whole buttload of drops in our water. <laughs> and finally, you are going to get yourself some rope. Oh, I was rest this morning, okay? Now you're gonna cut a piece long enough to hang in both jars. <laughs> now place one end in the water jar and place the other end in the empty jar. And there you go, let this sit. The blood flat hang in there. Is, the, the, the result is way, way cool, okay? Check this out. You can see that the water went up the string, over the gap, down the string, and into the other jar. <laughs> now that's a wicked cool! So, so, why does the water go up the string and then down the string into the other container? And wh what does this have to do with your blood vessels? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The vascular system is a group of tubes known as arteries, veins, and capillaries which run through the entire body. As blood leaves the heart, it leaves through arteries. These arteries are large tubes because they have to take on the extra pressure from the heart. These arteries are like freeway systems which allow billions of blood cells to pass through. The vessels, or smaller tubes, similar to roadways which allow millions of blood cells to pass through. Blood vessels bring blood back to your heart. Every cell in your body sits next to a microscopic tube known as a capillary. You can think of capillaries a lot like the string, which absorbs water. Unlike the string, though, your capillaries are under pressure. These tubes are so small that you can think of them as single car roadways, which allow only one blood cell through them at a time. Capillaries are the connection between arteries and vessels. If you lined up the entire vascular system in your body, end to end, they would stretch about 100,000 kilometers, or two and a half times around the Earth. When you're sitting and relaxing, it takes your blood about 40 seconds to go through your body and back to your heart. When you're exercising, it only takes about 10 seconds to make the same trip. You have about 5 liters of blood pumping through you right now. So now you know more about your vascular system. You know, checking out capillary action right at home is why science is so cool.